Woo! Man alive, it is chilly out. So I want to talk about the differences between, for a beginner, you know, how it's been trading on Robinhood versus trading on Weeble. And for those of you who don't know, Weeble and Robinhood are both apps you can buy stocks and sell stocks on your phone off of. Uh, I, whoops, uh, I have both. And so here's what I think the main big difference is. So first off, Robinhood looks way, way nicer, way prettier, way more uh, just like welcoming to a beginner. If you don't know shit about stocks and you get Weeble, it might seem intimidating to you at first. It's all numbers, graphs, everything's very small, the text is small. Um, at the end of the day, they're, they're very similar in a lot of ways. But if you're just trying to get into this casually or you want to begin learning, it's a bit difficult. Um, as someone who makes YouTube videos and has a blog and all that stuff, the Weeble program is way better than the, the uh, Robinhood program because Weeble gives you more free stocks. Um, the, the kind of the trade-off is that the stocks and money you deposit take a lot longer to settle under your account. Uh, so you can't like day trade on Weeble. You can kind of day trade on Robinhood. You have like two within five days. Uh, if you know more about this, please correct me. I'm, I'm very new to these apps. I've had Robinhood for a year, but I didn't really use it until recently. Um, I kind of ignored the whole, the whole come up in 2020 because I was selling a lot of stuff and I just was focusing on Amazon resale. Um, so I was, I got like, I don't know, 20 stocks for free over the past like 12 months and it went from a value of like a hundred bucks to 400 bucks. So I really do, I do, you know, appreciate that. I'm not saying like, oh, I wish it was on Weeble. I would have gotten twice that much because I have no idea. Uh, but just as it is right now, I would say Weeble has a better affiliate program, both for influencers and just regular people who want to make some money and like share with their friends, like, hey, here's the stocks. Uh, they're always running these kind of like crazy affiliate schemes, like sign up 10 people, get 40 spins on the gambling stock wheel, which whatever. I don't like that. I don't like when companies like try and like mix like gambling with like your reward, but that's kind of what the stock market is. So I guess it makes sense. All right, now that that's taken care of, what I'm doing now today is going to my warehouse and I'm gonna sort some video games to sell on Amazon as well on eBay too. And I wanna go over my criteria that I have for deciding if a game is worth selling alone on Amazon or if it's more of a bulk situation on eBay. One more thing, if you got a mystery box and it has these in them, little boxes like this, what they are are shaving brushes right here. And I got a email from a customer saying, hey, these are crap, I'm just gonna throw them away. The box was still profitable without those, but they didn't wanna sell them. And my words to you are, don't throw them away, sell them because everyone who got these got a lot of them, like 10 or more, five or more. And what you're gonna wanna do is take one picture, don't take a picture of the dingy box, don't do that. Take a picture of this by itself, nice white background, and make a quantity listing. This will sell for eight bucks. You'll get five bucks, four bucks off of it. But if you have 10 of them, that's 40 bucks for one listing. That is a good way to make money. I made a very similar mistake with the uh, garden flags you saw me have in an earlier video right here. One of my pal unboxing videos, I was like, oh, they're garbage, they're trash. I've sold like 50 for around 30 bucks a pop. Okay, so sometimes things that might look kind of garbagey are not garbagey. People just sometimes like cheap stuff. I don't know. I don't judge people. I just sell them stuff. All right, the day is now over. It's been a wild day watching uh, GameStop and AMC not explode, but also not die. And what I did today, rather than idly sit by my computer, is I sent out, or I, I tried to get a lot more of the uh mystery boxes and there's like four left and besides that i did a bunch of video games and what i wanted to do in this video was make like here's how i list video games but that was going to take like 20 minutes to explain it all and so instead i just listed them and i made this flow chart right here that you can download for free on my gum road uh beneath so let's just go over it right now so you got your games scan them all are they worth at least three bucks after fees and shipping because you already bought them so net profits kind of out the door if you already own them uh no they're not sell them in a bulk listing on ebay if they are worth three bucks or more are they scuffed no smiley faced sell them individually on your preferred marketplace mine is amazon if they are scuffed yes boo hoo can you fix them with a JFJ Easy Pro or better? So I have an ELM Pro 2, Eco Pro 2, and a JFJ Easy Pro as well. Uh, I use them both. 
I'll use the JFJ Easy Pro to do a rough buff with sandpaper and then do a fine buff with the ELM Eco Pro 2. But a JFJ Easy Pro is going to be fine for probably 80 90% of all your discs. No, if you can't fix them or you don't own one, bulk listing, say they're damaged, you'll still get good money for them. Yes, you can fix them. Again, sell them individually on your marketplace that you like. Again, I like Amazon. So there it is, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't be a sh-